Hello everyone, this is group 5 uh, Innovation Presentation. I'm here with Matthias, Severin and Lucas. Um, I'm going to present you a very cool software today, but first uh, a little story. So our friend here, Matthias, when he was back in Germany, he uh, has a group project for his class. Uh, he had to work with a company, uh, but the problem was the company was back in Berlin and his school is in Dortmund. So there is a kind of a, a long way between the, the two cities, uh, 300 miles. So, and because they had to meet with the, with the company every week uh, to keep them updated about the project, um, they had to find a way to communicate uh, with them uh, because it, will, it takes five, hour, five hours by car and three hours by uh, high speed train. Uh, so it takes time and it costs money. So they came up with this software, Enemitting. Uh, Enemitting is a web conference tool um, that, is, uh, that is free to use for uh, restricted features. Um, it offers a lot of um, old school features, uh, especially for, for students like us uh, when, uh, when working on a project or just like Matt. My did back in Germany. Uh, there is nothing revolutionary about it, um, but it's just a very easy to use uh, tool and very re reliable, as you're gonna see next. Um, first, a little bit of background about it. Uh, so, his CEO and founder, Kasim Tukulescu, um, worked in a web con web conferencing industry for a long time, and he wanted he wanted something. That could be used for small companies that could be affordable and also free. Um, so he came up with this idea of Frebinar in 2009 that then became uh, that then became Eddie Meeting in 2011. Um, so and his primary target was small business companies um, uh, and uh, at I think uh, also individuals like us like students or teachers. So any meaning, there are different versions of it. Installation is very easy. Um, the uh, so the host of the, the meetings uh, has to download the um, the software, which is a very, very quick so very quick to install. It's hundred hundred megabyte uh, software. Uh, so after it's installed, the person can host any meeting and uh, attendees they can access it by either the software they can download it or they can access it via the web brother which is a uh, very uh, interesting features uh, they can also uh, download the app for either tablet or the smartphone android or uh, um, apple uh, or they also can call in uh, which is also a nice cool feature if you don't have any internet access, uh, if you don't have a phone with you, if you don't have a computer with you, I mean, if you have a phone, but if you don't have a smartphone, uh, so if you have like just a simple phone, you just can't just call the meeting, there is a spe specific number for it, and you're in. Of course, you're not, you're not going to be able to see all the slides and all what is shown, but you're going to be to hear everything that is being said. So there is different plans. As I said, there is a free version. Uh, they have restricted features, uh, but it is it is good enough for uh, people like us. For example, for this project, that's uh, that's what we use at first. The free account, so we can have unlimited meetings. We can have up to four attendees, uh, which was good enough for you because we were four people. We can screen share. We can chat. Uh, so I, I think those basic things is, is enough. Uh, you can you can also have access to a free trial uh, 40 days of any pay plan as I'm gonna talk to you about right now uh, so there's two of them there's the meeting pro which is more appropriate for uh, for uh, small companies uh, because you can have up to three attendees and you have more more features than than the, the, the free the, the free version uh, you can stay the, sh the uh, slide share you have the sharing YouTube video uh, you have the recording as well. Then there was a webinar pro. Webinar pro is um, 
is more maybe for companies who want to use that tool for more for marketing purpose because you can have up to a thousand attendees so it's it's a cool option for if you want to host a uh, master class for example um, and with this webinar pro you can have also have an integration of four business app just like LinkedIn uh, Gmail also PayPal because you can make people pay for attending your uh, your meeting which is pretty cool and you also have access to uh, other features like a survey uh, or a waiting room uh, for the webinar pro um, so I think that there are a lot of pretty cool features about it so this is the price for the plans uh, it starts at uh, $15 a month for the basic meet meeting pro up to three, 30 attendees uh, which is a very affordable and very low price and that's I think the CEO that's why he wanted something very affordable for small businesses but uh, also maybe for uh, like schools or for students like us uh, and also you have the most expensive one webinar pro which is which is pretty low price for what it is uh, because it can be used as a marketing tool as I said so those are the main features uh, as, I, as I talked about uh, but instead of just telling you what it is I'm just going to show you guys so this is an meeting this is the um, after connecting through the the website this is what the host see uh, so the host can um, can access everything is the and he's the one who's uh, who's going to take care of everything, all the options. Uh, so here we have anymeeting.com slash a number. This is the address for attending this meeting through a web browser. So anyone can, with that with that address, can can join the meeting. Uh, as we see here, uh, we have a caller uh, with a number. This is a uh, siren calling uh, from a, from his phone. Uh, and then we have Lucas, which is on his um, uh, mobile app, and Matthias, which is on the web version. Uh, so you have the chat right here on the on the left hand side, uh, which is pretty basic stuff, but also very uh, useful. Uh, hello, hello, Matthias. Um, here we have the cam, of course. Uh, you can app have up to six. Oh, we can have. Uh, up to six person uh, using the webcam, not more, uh, because it's probably gonna uh, like slow down the whole process. But it's good enough when you have like uh, a small meeting. Um, then there is the desk desktop sharing. Uh, in order to have the de to someone else to share their desktop, I have to make them to promote them as presenter, just just as you see right here. So I'm gonna gonna promote Matthias. There we go. So uh, this is uh, Matthias sharing the screen. Um, so he can like if this can be really useful when you have like a group project and you want to show what you've done on the project and you want to show specifically something with your uh, cursor. It's it's really really useful. Uh, then there is the record button. Uh, then you can record the meeting and send it to anyone who has attended or has not attended the meeting. Then there's more. As you can see here, you have the share slides. Uh, there we go. So you can upload and share anything you have. This is the, a, smoother, um, uh, a smoother use of, uh, of the screen sharing because the screen sharing, if you have too much thing, maybe it's gonna lag. So if you want something very smooth, for showing a presentation, this is uh, the tool you have to use. Um, then you can also play a vi YouTube video uh, if you want to show anything you want to show from from YouTube. 
which is a pretty cool tool. Yeah. Then, then we have yeah we have take meeting notes. So during the presentation, uh, you might want to take some notes uh, and uh, maybe about the advancement uh, of the meeting. Uh, so you have two two sections. You have the share public notes that everyone can see, and your private notes. So you just type anything you want, and at the end of the meeting, all the notes that have been that has been written are going to be sent to you and to your attendees as well. There we go. Thank you, Matthias. Then you can invite more people, of, uh, of course. And then another cool thing. Customer's background. That's what we did right here. Uh, this is very, very useful for when you host a webinar or a masterclass. It's a way to promote your business. Uh, you can put a background, just like we did here, a beautiful background of uh, University of Montana. But you can also put the logo of your company. So when you have up to a thousand people uh, attending your meeting, they know they know your company, they know your logo, and they know your brand. So it is. It is. A, that's why it's a very cool tool, also for marketing. Um, so that's. Those are the main. Uh, the main tool for. Um, uh, for any meeting, the last one. Just wanna, make sure everything is, understood. For the phone, this is the option. Uh, so this is number that has to be called with the access code. That's what Seven did earlier. Uh, so. Anyone with a phone can have an access to me. There you go. So as I said, there is a lot of advantages using any meeting. Uh, which one I was impressed by was the common option. I think it's not ev not every tool out there, every software uh, are using that. Uh, I believe it's possible to use phone for Skype, not for editing meeting. So that is pretty cool. There's also like free version uh, that is very useful for us, for students, also for um, for uh, uh, for teachers. Uh, it's really really good to use. Uh, it, it took us only a couple of minutes to figure out how how it works, and it's really re reliable. Uh, we didn't we never had any problem with the the software itself. Uh, the problem we had in class, of course, was because of the internet access. Um, the only disadvantage, it's, it's not available Linux and Ubuntu, uh, but it's small disadvantage because most companies and most of the people are using either Windows or Apple products. And the potential application, there's a lot of them. Uh, as I said, good products just like us. Um, you can have webinars for companies, promote your products or services. Uh, online class, like we have here in University of Montana. I believe we, here we use Connect. Um, so the online classes uh, can be used maybe, for example, for a meeting pro up to 30 attendees, uh, which is has a very low price and I think it's a very reliable tool. Um, also for online support uh, and online customer support. Uh, it's really important maybe for small companies or IT companies, for example, when people have problems with their software, instead of being on the phone and not knowing what's going on because they're not really tech savvy, um, an, an IT guy just can call in and let the person uh, access the any meeting and see what's wrong with the, um, with the software. There we go. So thank you very much for your time. Uh, this is Group 5, no good presentation. Matthias, Severin, Lucas, and I, Ravi. Thank you.